Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Good morning. Well, I don't know. Is it a good morning, Rob? Uh, it actually <laughs> is, but it, it may be a bear market rally, which means we're still in a downtrend. We haven't had people quit, but things are working higher today. Okay, but what do you, uh, yeah, you said, do, is it a bear after? We've had five days of the Dow closing down. So what's it going to take before, you know, you're not optimistic anymore and saying, hey, everything's on sale. I'm optimistic. Um, <clears throat> I just realized we're dealing with Russia, Ukraine. We're dealing with COVID in China. They're putting major issues on the supply chain and the oil prices on inflation where we came out of a pandemic where there was government supported with a lot of stimulus. We're going to work through this, but it's going to take a while. For instance, rent prices are creeping up in Austin, Texas, to the tune of up 100% on some people are getting letters saying your rents have been increased by 100%. Wow. Um, that's going to take a while until everyone goes, wow, it's now $2,000 instead of $1,000. And next year from this time, it'll be like $2,020. So the, the inflation numbers are slow. We're at least until October of this year where we're talking about horrible inflation numbers. Um, rents keep climbing. Two-thirds of our paychecks go to, you know, month, month uh, week to week. Uh, month. We live paycheck to paycheck is what I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, so we're not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. And with that said, it, it, it's good because recessions and down markets kind of... Uh, tear apart people who are too speculative and too optimistic. I'm long-term. Um, Short-term, this is pain. Long-term gain, as Mr. T once said in Rocky Three. And <laughs> they, thank you. Oh, did you want to, since you were talking about movies, did you want to go to GameStop and stop in uh, AMC? A little news there? That, that's a bad sign. So both oh. those stocks are doing well, and both those stocks are junk. They're trash. They're not great. Okay. Um, they just don't have a lot of earnings or cash flow. I get AMC. Top Gun's going to be awesome. The reviews are amazing. Yeah. It's going to be a great summer, but it shouldn't be up 18%. Okay, so that's wrong. What about You know what shouldn't be up 18%, and it is airline tickets. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. And here's a great case of inflation now. <clears throat> Prices drop very soon. Uh, airfares went up 18% in the month of April. They are up 10% in March. So those back-to-back -back months show you how crazy things are getting out of hand. My salary didn't go up 10% in March. My salary didn't go up 18% in April. And yet my airfares did up 33% year over year. Bookings are now dropping in April, down 17%. Um, and I had a oh. friend who tried to book Hawaii, and he did it too late. Like, he literally saw prices go from 400 round trip to over 1,200 oh, round what? trip. what? Okay, so I have a question for you then when it comes to the friend, for example, because the same happened to James and I were both looking at flights and we go, no, no, too expensive, like you said, too expensive. So we'll wait until six months from now. So should September. we buy, yeah, but like, I'm wondering, will it keep going up, up, up? Do we wait? Do we buy six months ahead? Can yeah, you? I, I what think, think Russia and Ukraine should play itself out in my belief. I'm not a political strategist, but my belief is Russia's going to start hurting for cash. Um, and that'll make their, their moves more final. That should bring oil down. Uh, Pent-up demand is not going to go away. My family wants to go on vacation. Your family wants to go on vacation. James's family wants to go on vacation. So we're all going to be fighting for the same number of seats mm. probably until the end of summer. Um, so it'll get there. Um, inflation's great because it takes care of excesses because it gets to the point where you're like, I'm just going to go see the Grand Canyon. And I'm <laughs> exactly. like, I'm just going to go to Vegas and skip Hawaii. Right. Skip the longer flights, so to speak. Well, okay, and I was thinking, oh, yeah, so instead I'll just go to Disneyland. Just, you know, that's that's a good old standby. But not enough people are, I guess. They're, they're not looking too good, Disney, overall. Yeah, I did this one for you because I know you like it when I pick stocks. Um, I'm going to buy Disney probably in three days from now. Legally, I can't buy it if I talk about it on air. So now I have to wait three days. Okay. Um, but Disney's... <laughs> Earnings were fantastic. Income was up 36% year over year. Revenue was up 23%. Um, they have a problem that they're competing with Netflix. At this point in time, I want Disney to buy Netflix, spin off Hulu and shut Hulu down um, and just be dominant at what they're doing. That's how good Disney is. Their media was up 9.5% in uh, revenue. But um, that's seventy percent of their revenue. Oh, but I was so gonna say, but it's the, so it's this it's the media you're looking at, not the parks. Is that where the money's coming? It's the, the parks, parks are gravy. The you park, know, my yeah. kids went to Disney, and uh, my sister in law is an executive at, at Disney, so she got free tickets. But the add-ons to go to the front of the line, the add-ons to get to and to a restaurant, <laughs> oh. turned out to be like four hundred dollars each for oh. each kid that day. God. It's out of control how much it costs to take families. 
and park revenues were up 109% year over year. Um, and that's 30% of the revenues, but I call that gravy. Um, mm. I would say 205 million total subscribers when you add up Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus versus Netflix is 222 million. I think Disney takes them this year and that was not expected. All right. Um, so Disney's doing great and their stock is at a two year low. Like I said, I'm probably going to buy it until the broker advisor for taking action on your stocks I've ever mentioned. Um, <laughs> but I like to keep making great names when other people um, don't like them. I guess, yeah. I, mean, I say they're doing bad in my eyes because I can't afford it, but it's better than flying right now. Okay, th thanks a lot, Rob. I agree. And, Thanks, uh, If you have a question for Rob, you can email him, reach him on Facebook.